Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to easily remove a drain stopper pop-up. Now there are several different varieties of these pop-ups. First and foremost, if you have the easy, easy kind, what you want to do is you're just going to twist this top part off and then you should be able to pull up. Now you can see mine is so full of disgusting junk so the sink's not draining. Mine is not that easy. We go up and down, we can see here. Now, some of these drain stopper pop-ups, it's just a matter of lifting it to the right sort of height and then it will release itself and you can twist it off. Now, if you have that kind, awesome. Just play around with the different heights. Maybe you wanna put it down a little bit lower and try to twist off and pull. Maybe you lift it a little bit um, higher like mine is and you twist off and pull. But here's a cue, here's a clue to you. When you first are trying to decide what sort of drain stop up popper you have, go ahead, look under your sink. <laughs> We're in our master bathroom here. And you'll see here, mine is not that easy. We have this little contraption right here. And this controls the drain stopper, the pop up, however you wanna to refer to it. So what we're gonna need to do, if you have a sink like this, you are exactly in the right place that you need to be. We are going to remove this. I will show you how to do it. And then it will release this pop-up drain stop, pop-up stopper thingy. And we'll, I'll show you really easily how to clean it out and how to reinstall it. This whole process should take, I don't know, less than 10 minutes to do. And if you really wanna impress somebody in your life, your significant other, Stay tuned, this channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women. I help you get onto things, get your house clean, organize, do things like this so that you can have more fun living your life. I have a ton of playlists in the description box as well. Okay, first and foremost, I am gonna be doing this one-handed here, so bear with me. We're gonna go ahead and remove that. I am also very pregnant here, so if I seem out of breath, that's why. It's not because I'm working too hard here to remove this but you can squeeze this little part, this piece together, and you can slide it right off. See that little piece right there? And then on your sink, you're gonna have a screw such as that, and you should be able to do it manually. I should get a bucket under here for in case any water comes out. If you can't, just get a tool to help you loosen this. So you're gonna unscrew that, and it's gonna look like this. Look at how disgusting that is. Now, I don't know the technical term for all these things. I'm a mom <laughs> with three kids running a business, um, but I've just learned to do these things along the way so that I can save myself some time. So we got that tool. I am gonna get a little something to put under here just in case we got any water leaking, and then we'll move up top and I'll show you the next step. So now that we've removed that, the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and pull this piece out. Now you may have to put a little bit of effort into it. Oh, that is so gross. Oh, you guys. Ah. <laughs> that is terrible. Oh my gosh, okay. I have to get some gloves here and we're gonna pull that out. This is so bad. It's like, why isn't my sink draining? And then I was like, oh, we got a bigger problem than the sink here. So I got a garbage can here. I'm gonna pull all of this out, like get down in there. I'll probably take my toothbrush um, to pull this out. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clean this and reinstall it. So if yours looks better than this, you should be impressed. We bought this house about, gosh, two years ago. I've never cleaned this out. So, you know, maybe I won't take all the blame, yuck, for this. Now, don't turn your water on because remember we dislodged, but I'm gonna clean this up and Oh, you can see in the drain, I don't know if it'll pick it up. There's a ton more in there. So I'm just gonna take a cleaning toothbrush that I have here. Let's see if I can get some of this out. Oh, I cannot even. <laughs> that is so bad. 
So once you've done this and you find that your drain is still clogged, I have a video that's gonna be attached in the description box of how you can unclog that as well. But if your sink's not draining, check this spot first because this definitely is a big culprit for that. So I'm getting some of it. I can see there's a lot more hair still down in there. But let me show you, I'm gonna soak it here in this little bowl of hot water and then I just got some Dawn dish soap. We're gonna get this all cleaned up. I'll scrub it with a toothbrush and I'll see if I can get any more of that hair out of the drain and then we're gonna reinstall this. I got that cleaned out as best as I could just to give you a frame of reference. Gross, right? I know. <laughs> okay, how this piece is gonna go in is like this. See this sort of circle? You want it to face the back of your faucet. So you're gonna go in like this. And how this piece attaches, it just goes right through here. And then this was what we used to tighten it back onto the drain. Now I'm gonna make sure that this is down all the way. And we're gonna go in. Let me stick this in here. Now you gotta, this part's a little bit tricky because we're a little bit blind. So I'm gonna stick it in as straight as I can because remember we're gonna put this metal thing. I won't be able to see through that hole. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's gotta line up. Okay, Ooh, those are my knees cracking. <laughs> All right, and we got our other little piece here to help hold it on. I wonder if you can see. Now there's a lot of different adjustments that can be made when you're up in here, such as this right here. It can go up or down. Um, you can adjust the heights for what you want. And honestly, I can't remember which one of these this went into. So we'll just play around with it a little bit here. But first things first. I'm gonna loop this part on so we can slip it in. Again, I'm doing this one-handed, <laughs> so bear with me. We got some autofocus here. Okay, let's do this. I wanna get it in there. Good, okay. Then we're trying to get this plastic part to slide right in to that other part. I'm gonna go ahead and twist this back on. You should just be able to use your fingers. Now how tight you twist it is gonna determine how easily this lifts up and down. You do want this to be able to go up and down so you can stop your drain if you need to. Then I'll just slide this part back in and then you can see, like so. Well, we'll go up top and see. I think I'll lose it just a little bit. How we did. That will be the true test. Here we are. You can see my sole, uh, my hole here is very small. So I'm gonna pull up just to make sure I got it on there. And it's in the right spot. If you did not get it through that little hole, the plastic piece through the hole, you'd just be able to pull it right back up. So mine is such a tiny opening here. I might actually lift it a little bit more. So I went ahead and raised mine up a little bit more so that there was more area for the water to flow in. Let me tighten that a little bit. So there we go. That's the highest I'm probably going to be able to get it. We're going to go down here. And I actually, I moved it to go on the bottom so that it would raise up as high as possible. And you do want to make sure that this is tight right here because there's that little ball in there that helps it move kind of up and down. Now I would do a test run to make sure that you have it on tight and you have no water leaking. So let's take a peek. And you can see mine's dripping a little bit there, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and tighten this up a bit more. So 
but no water. It's like you don't want to have unclogged your drain stopper and then you're dealing with um, water leaking and damage. It's easy to go unnoticed when it's under your sink like this and you have you know, supplies or a garbage can or that sort of thing. So if you are new here, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Also check out all the playlists in the description box below to help you make cleaning easier, more fun, more efficient, save you time to do other fun things. And if you are new here, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, Andrew Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits. And this cleaning and organizing channel is one way that I do that. Thank you for being here.